Well, here you are. My morning routine. Get out of here, fly. Sorry about that. <coughs> yeah, I'm, well, I woke up a while ago. I mean, a long time ago. I'm still wearing my nightcap for down here. I'm in uh, Dimbaza. My Dimbaza nightcap. All my nightcaps have one thing in common. They have either have some blue in it or some white in it or some blue and white in it. You know, some of them have some green in it. Doesn't matter. So this is my morning routine for, well, I said I've been up for a while, like I said. I had to do some other stuff. I had to hang a, my, uh, my outside inside closet, you know, where I hang my clothes in the other room, bedroom. Put this rope and then a, a little, like a, 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 what do you call it, a piping like this so I can hang my stuff like that. I like that way. Then I throw a, throw a, throw a sheet over it so, so it won't get dusty and stuff like that. I had another place I did it that way. Oh boy. People got mad. They didn't get mad, but they feel like, what? They gotta have a proper bureau or closet or whatever they got to do. Like that. I'm living in the wild. <laughs> so I gotta take my morning pills. But I'm also thinking that I'm gonna do my, uh, I mean, in the mornings, I usually don't, I just do my, uh, what do you call that? I mean, I just drink, I mean, drink, I just drink water. <laughs> of course, I don't have juice right now. Uh, and I don't really eat, but I do do some fruit. So this morning, I'm going to give you a treat, show you what I do. Wait a second. Take these pills. And then they light like incense. What's this one? Hey, black magic. Black magic incense. Let me put this one on, see what this is about. So what I do with the incense, it's black magic, but what I do, in fact, I haven't had any problems at all since I started this. So I get a thing, oops, I get a thing of citronella. See, citronella, oh, that's a, they have it in Africans there, but this is citronella, citronella oil. Yeah, I get a little toothbrush like that, and I, I just coat my incense with the citronella like that. I'll leave that open so that whatever, and it'll dry pretty soon. By the end of this video, I'll I'll light it up, and then put it there because well, the citronella gets rid of the mosquitoes. Am I still? Oh, sorry, more pills. My supplements. I didn't make one adjustment for my supplements. See, VA gave me this uh, the aspirin. You know. A low, really low grade aspirin because it's supposed to, because the blood thinner. Aspirin's a natural blood thinner. Uh, but the thing is, is the, the way the VA works and they, all the stuff that the regular government agencies they they go by that. So they say that the old people they should have they should have one little aspirin a day because it thins out the blood, so the blood clots, right? Now I don't really I, for a long time I didn't do that, but because of the COVID, I said that's a blood clotty thing, da da da. So I started taking the aspirins, but. What I do is I don't take them every day. It's like every other day. And if I can remember, sometimes every third day, doesn't matter. But I mean, every two or three days I take I take one of those aspirins because it is a blood thinner. And I noticed it before. They didn't have to tell me any while well, medic anyway. But what happens, the blood thinner, you, you'll bleed. I mean, if you cut them, you'll bleed more than you should, you know? So, and then plus they, there's new studies that saying that they, that whole aspirin thing with the, what do you, what do you call it, with the, with the, you know, uh, making you live longer or whatever, whatever it is, it ain't true. <laughs> Whether you take the aspirin or not, you're going to be the same thing. Just with blood thinner or not. So that's why I stand with the aspirin. And the whole COVID thing, I'm too through with these folks. Because, like anything, they're using it, you know, for control and stuff like that. But it doesn't affect me because... I don't have any religious thing against it. I have nothing against the, the you taking the, the what, immunity thingy, whatever you're going to take. But for me, what they do, see that, let me put it this way. The, they call it the dominant society, whatever. People make the rules. <laughs> they make the rules according to like some sort of mass kind of thing. They don't take an individual, individual thing. Yeah, they might take a religious preference or whatever. Ah, you know, if you have some religion, then you don't have to take this and whatever it is. Or they say, whatever. Or you have the doctor approve. Ooh, what doctor? Ooh, what, what doctor are you talking about? Anyway, my thing is, as a human being and as a medical, ex-medical professional, I'm still a medical professional, I have my own standards, you know? Like, for instance, to tell you the truth, 
since I haven't taken a flu shot since 1970, right, then I've considered myself a walking experiment. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, if I hadn't taken a flu shot and I don't get sick, I don't get flu, then why should I take a flu shot when I don't get flu when what's, what's really happening is my body, you know, because I take my good supplements, I do my exercise, because my body is doing what they do, well, it's taking care of me. So I got to keep on going with my little experiment that's been going on since 1970. I'm not going to stop my experiment because you have some sort of pandemic going on and whatever have you, and I don't get sick anyway. Oh. So we're going to have a big fight about that. And then plus, who's giving these orders? You know what I mean? Bill Gates is telling, telling people they got to have a, a, a flu shot? Who? That boy don't even have a college education. He quit college. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why all of a sudden billionaires have, have more information than me, who is a medic, and have a college degree, not in medicine, you know what I mean? And you know, you know what I'm saying? And, and live long enough to go to and have, have, have the, uh, you know, the, the, the real situation as well as the theory situations all in me. I'm not going to give up my thing for that. Plus, here's the thing about the, the vaccine. It's, it's, it's funny to me. Before you just took one vaccine and what is now they say you got to take a vaccine, then you got to take a booster shot. How many booster shots you got to take? You know what I mean? They'll be able to think, well, you got to take a booster shot every month. Now, after a while, you know, it might be whatever, whatever, whatever. Here's my conspiracy theory. You want to follow me on this? After four or five or six or 29 times, then they can put that booster shot, they can put anything in that booster shot. Just a conspiracy. Okay, let me go. So, uh, so now, what am I going to do? Oh! I'm going to do thing this morning. See, I got this thing. I used to think this thing called, well, peanut butter, right? This is that. It's black cat, black cat peanut butter. It's in a glass jar. That's why I get it. The other stuff's in plastic jars. I'm not, whatever, plastic containers. No, but you see, I have a little bit at the end there. Um, and I guess we're going to get another thing. But I leave a little bit at the end because sometimes when I do peanut, peanut butter, when I do uh, spaghetti, I put the spaghetti, you know, wrap it in, get a little bit of peanut butter on it like that, because I like that. And I'm going to make a really good meal tonight, I think. And I'm going to have, in this meal, I'm going to have, oh, this is the end of this. There's a thing that we have in South Africa here called chakalaka, right? Now, chakalaka has all kinds of ingredients. It has um, vegetables, something. Uh, it does have, what's that? Uh, carrots. Woof, uh, I can't read this stuff. Chilies, uh, green peppers, uh, blah, blah, water, vegetable puree, blah, blah, sunflower seeds, blah, blah. Anyway, it has a lot of stuff in it. And I use it actually for, uh, I guess it has onions in it too. I use it for like a seasoning almost. So what I'm going to do my pressure cooker. My, you, can see, you know my pressure cooker. My pressure cooker, which I'm not going to pick up for you. My pressure cooker. I put I put a little rice in the bottom of the pressure cooker. I have my baby marrows, you know, zucchini. Some of you people get. I have mushrooms, right? Mushrooms. Um. Uh, I have a couple of sweet potatoes, right? Uh, and I might even take. I got avocados from the trees. You know, trees here in Zimbabwe. A lot of avocado trees, so I might. Even cut that up and put that in there, and uh, and make a, a, a what do you call that? Uh, my pressure cooker thingy like that and make a really good. Oh, and also get some. They have good sausage here. We we, we see how it's made. Don't worry about the sausage. But this is a flavoring. Put that in there, and I'm good to go. It'd be a great meal tonight. You know, I might even wait for tomorrow night because today's what's today? Today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. Mm. I gotta. We can have a project going, uh, an audio drama going. And uh, should I go? To the, here's what I'm going to do. Have, I'll tell you I'll tell you what. Those people who follow me on Instagram, I'll continue with, with, with what's going to happen with that there. Now, one more thing here. I just want to show you. Hold on. I'll be right back. Don't go no place. I'm just going over here to my apples and take my knife out. I guess I'll take any knife. Apple's a knife. Because here's what I'm going to have for breakfast. Right. I take an apple. This is what I used to do with the uh, peanut butter. You take an apple. 
<coughs> I'll rinse it off. I'm not going to do it right now. But I take an apple, I cut it, you know, and then I make slices, right? You know, apple wedgie slices, uh, thin. And then what I'll do is I'll take, since I really do the peanut butter with this anymore, I take a, uh, this is called butternut. It's a nut butter, right? This one has almond and macadamia nut in it, right? See, because actually, you know, well, peanuts are not nuts, you know what I mean? But peanuts not a good thing. So somehow, what's supposed to happen with, uh, what do you call that? My favorite nut by the cashews. I mean, every cashew, cashews from from uh, uh, Mozambique. Oh, man, Mozambique cashews. And said, it's the best raw cashews. Oh, it's the best. Um, anyway, so what I do is I take this and I'll make uh, my slices. And then I'll put a little bit on a slice and eat this with the slices. Uh, nut butter. Let me see what's, what's in this nut butter. Almonds. Almonds are famed for their power, loaded with protein. Okay. And actually, if you're going to do, uh, also, since these have, this is a good one to put in a in a shake for yourself, a little dab of a or tablespoon of nut butter in a shake. Really good. You know, a lot of protein. Uh, uh, and something healthy, healthy fats. Okay. Macadamias are notoriously indulgent, dreamily creamy, Sexy and sweet combined, they have we have a winner. In other words, this is uh, the macadamia nut, does I don't know what it does, but the, it's sexy and sweet, I guess. And uh, and the almonds got the protein and the deep, 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 deep. So, I will this is what I'll have for my breakfast. I'll take this and I'll, like I said, I'll cut the apple da, 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 and I'll eat. <laughs> might, I might do two apples. Hey, let's be indulgent. Hey, look, as long as I don't go to three, then I'm fine. What else have to do? <gasps> you know what I got yesterday? Oh, man, I finally got it. I forgot. I didn't have it. I had to get my turmeric. Turmeric? Hey, let me tell you something. Turmeric and black pepper. Turmeric, turmeric, black pepper. Coarse black pepper, but you got it <laughs> with the grinder. It's good for you. Okay. So that's it. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. That's it. Got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Um, like I said, um, on my Instagram, I'm, I'm, we're, we're chronicling what happens with our audio drama workshop um, because we have a performance on the 29th of May. We'll see. It's, it's called some performance in progress. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I never know how these things turn out, but they always turn out good. Uh, so follow me on Instagram if you want to know about the, the audio drama workshop. Meanwhile, I just had to talk. I just had to. I, I had to. I haven't talked to YouTube in such a long time. You know what I mean? So that's it from me. T from the Pattersons. Taking the train to Tibet. Let you know what I only suspect.